What is up everybody, it's your boy, Ben's Jude here, welcome back to the channel, and back to another episode of WWE 2K20. I don't know if I should move that or not, I'm going to leave that there, because this is like kind of balancing, hopefully the camera won't fall, but, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and hop into this, I'm going to try, oh I kind of have to move this, okay it'll be fine, um, I'm uh, going to try to record a couple videos for you guys, I know I stream, but I'm gonna like take breaks in between different videos to upload to YouTube since you know since I do also put my stuff on YouTube I try not to make my videos too long if you guys would like to see longer videos let me know and I would definitely like maybe go an hour for some for like my videos and that's everything including um, my uh, universe modes so but if you guys are interested in seeing stuff like that please do let me know but I'm gonna go ahead and hop into my video Yesterday the video crashed, and that's actually the name of the that's the name of the video. If you uh, also watch on YouTube, if you're not watching right now, but the video yesterday was literally called "crash," like it crashed or something like that. Yeah, I was just like, ah. Oh. And if that happens today, well, obviously I'm not going to be recording multiple videos. I forget how many chapters are in the uh, in the uh, my player. I think it's 20. I'm not 100% sure. I say hi to everybody. She keeps looking up at me. Say hi. Say hi to everybody. Like, Daddy, stop kissing me. What I look like to you. <laughs> this is where we were. Like, I was in the middle of this match and the video crashed. So hopefully, hopefully it works out. You kind of, you smell bad, Phoenix. I give her like a bath or something. <laughs> That'd be fun. That would be fun. And yesterday there was fireworks and stuff going off. No, the motorcycle is outside. Oh, all kinds of loud noises on my street. But this match is underway. Get Billy K to yellow health. Yeah, I was in the middle of that. <laughs> and, the, and the game crashed. Thank you, thank you, Mickey. But let me let me take care of Billy. Billy lands on her feet. And Peyton Royce turns her attention back to well. She didn't really take her attention off of Ruby. Oh. Ruby fighting off Peyton Royce. Oh, lift the knee. It nice kick to the back. Oh, what's this? Off the top rope, knee right down to Billy Kay. Peyton, leave me alone. I'm just trying to fight Billy Kay here. Peyton Royce sends. Nice takedown to Billy Kay. I read I for Billy Kay while, she's, while she is in the ring. Okay. Get in there. Red picking up Billy Kay here. Irish whip. No, oh, no, she counters it into the court. Kick to the gut. Oh, the double team. Mickey James. Mickey James getting up now. Oh, Billy Kay and Pan Royce just taking it to Red and Mickey James. Uh oh, they got the cricket bats. We saw what kind of damage they can do with these. Oh, no, and Red and Mickey James to counter it and are able to take it, use, get the upper hand. <laughs> One, two, 
and Mickey James and Ruby Roundhouse are the new NXT Tag Team Champions. On to the next. Well, next part of the story. <laughs> I'm so used to just saying on to the next when it, when it you know, because of my. Uh, what's the words I'm looking for here? What's the word I'm looking for? Universe mode. Because this is the first time I've recorded um, my my career. And that's how Mickey James went from being a hero and mentor of mine to more than that. She was now my tag team partner and more importantly, my friend. Oh, that's nice. But aren't you skipping over a pretty important part? How about we move on? Don't you want to talk about when you were on the cover of WWE 2K25? I do. Oh. But hang on a second. Earlier you put me on blast for having some trivial goals. So now it's my turn to call you out for a time when you let the list steer you down a questionable path. This is a night to remember our careers, good and bad. Fine. If you want to talk about it so much, then you tell the story. Okay. Oof. After they became tag team champions, it turned everything around for Mickey. She even ended up earning a SmackDown Live Women's Championship opportunity against Kyrie Sane. Play the match. Um, I'm not going to play the match because... I feel like it's unnecessary. And I'm also Mickey trying to get this to taken care of. Kyrie Sane, giving her two championships and <laughs> continuing her incredible winning streak to avoid retirement. We're still in this chapter? I thought we were moving on by now. <laughs> My bad. I didn't mean to hit the mic. I feel like you've been a little off lately. You're moody, quick to lash out, overly judgmental about my decisions. It all sounds like typical me. Maybe those weren't the best examples, <laughs> but I've known you long enough to realize when something's bothering you. Well, to be honest, I'm kind of getting impatient. I mean, teaming with Mickey has been fun. But I never thought it would last this long, and I definitely didn't see her singles title run happening. Now I'm basically waiting for someone to beat her so I can go after the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I've been dying to cross that off. Some might say you're a bit too focused on the list. Who's some? Are you some? Look, if you want my advice, I see two ways for you to get what you want. But the first option wouldn't be very honorable. What do you mean? If you and Mickey were to somehow lose your tag titles, then Mickey would be forced to retire and vacate her women's title, leaving you free to pursue it. Option number two, the more straight up way of doing things, would be for you to tell Mickey exactly how you feel and challenge her to a match for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship, potentially crossing that off the list. Follow me, I followed you. you. Her, okay, you also I, I will the tag follow. Titles and worse, Hold on. End the career of your idol slash friend. I don't really love either option. This business forces you to make some tough decisions. But at least you're not choosing between competing in a tag title match or saving your mangled ear like Mick Foley once had to do. No, but if losing my ear was option three, I'd think I'd take it. The alternative is just waiting around for something to happen, and who knows how long that could take. You're right. I guess I should... All right, I'm going to reply to you. Um, I'm, I, I will follow... I'll give you a follow... Um, right after I'm done recording this video I promise but um in should should uh she initially lose the tag titles and retire Mickey James or challenge Mickey James to a singles match potentially retiring her and losing the tag titles what would you what would you guys what would you guys rather have me do first first comment I see it is what I'm going to do I'll give you guys um 
time to comment what you guys want to see. What you guys would rather see happen. The uh, the story the storyline for this is, is it's decent, but I I kind of was I kind of wish that they had like a separate storyline, males the male storyline strictly and the female storyline strictly. I do appreciate that off follow though I really do. I want like maybe maybe in two K twenty two we'll get like a males storyline and then a females storyline. But since I'm not seeing any comments popping up, I'm going to do what I uh, usually do. What I usually do, for some of you guys that don't know, I have a uh, dice set on my phone. If it's a 1, 3, or 5, it's going to be the uh, lose the tag titles and retire Mickey James. If it's a 2, 4, or 6, uh, it's going to be challenging Mickey James to a singles match. So... Okay. Hitting it, it's a one. So she's going to intentionally, did I say initially? <laughs> intentionally lose the tag titles and retire Mickey James. That's, that's, that's upsetting. Uh, Red's not, Red's not the greatest person in the world anyway. That was a difficult choice. But at least you're in control of the situation. Yeah, I guess. Oh shit. Oh man, I I, I try I try not to swear too much. I don't know how much how many of you guys care, but I, if if you guys I do apologize. But there might be a lot of swearing if I play a rated M game at some point. I'm just just putting that out there. <laughs> like I do say like a few, I do say a few words that I, just like whatever, but I try not to like swear. Like you feel. Like there's some words I might say, but not like. Like any words that are in the in in the game that I'm playing, I might say. <laughs> like. Like WWE has ass. Damn. Bitch. Bitch, bitch. It was like one time I've seen in this game. This match is underway. But as red, you get Lana to yellow health. Lacey Evans and Lana. Who thought of that team? <laughs> but we have Ruby Roundhouse. Oh! That referee looked like he took a big bump. Zaguri from Ruby Roundhouse dropping Lana for a discus uh, like it looks like a discus forearm or something but Red moves out of the way and Lana gets up Lana now picks up Lana Mickey James tagging herself in. Mick kick drops Lana into the cover. Mickey James wins the match. They're still currently the tag team title. Mickey James and Red are still the tag team champions. Oh. You don't deserve to hold this tag title because you are not a partner. A partner wouldn't conspire to turn her back on a teammate. To intentionally lose these titles and end her supposed friend's career. That's right. I heard everything you said. So we are finished as a team. 
and I'll keep defending these tag titles all by myself if I have to. But as for my SmackDown Live Women's Championship, if you want it so bad so you can cross it off your precious list, then fine, I'll fight you. But since I'm risking my career, you're gonna have to put something important of yours on the line too, something that means just as much as my career. What do you got? Oh, I know. How about that precious sacred list of yours? Oof. If I win, I get to destroy it. And then maybe you'll start thinking a little more clearly. So tell me, how bad do you want my title? I'll do it. Looks like my video is buffering. That's not a good. Like it's like no, it was not buffering. It's frozen. That's not good at all. <laughs> On to the next. Well. <laughs> Chapter 12 is taking forever. There we go. Backlash. With what with what my video is doing right now, I'm probably not gonna be recording more videos. I don't know. I don't even know if you guys can still see what's going on in my video or not. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know. I'm gonna play this match. The well, nice ends great from Mickey J. From sorry, to Mickey James. And Ruby Ronda is gonna quickly go in. Oh nope, Mickey fighting, fighting off Ruby. Ruby comes off the ropes, gets hit with a elbow. He's threatening, He's threatening Ruby. Nope, arm wrench. Takes her down. Switch up the leg. Nice forearm. Drops. Mickey James. Kick to the for uh, shoulder middle shoulder blades. Well, I guess that'd be the spine, wouldn't it? <laughs> Ruby laying in strikes. Ooh, lifts the knee. Ruby goes up. Kind of lands. She got a little caught up on the ribs there. I don't even know exactly what happened there. Grabs a hold of Mickey James, but she was able to fight off Ruby. And Ruby with a... Oh, what's the name of that move? I know Edge does it. I'm pretty sure Edge is the one that made it popular. Flapjack? No, no. That wasn't a flapjack, was it? I don't think so. I can't think of what the name of that move is. Nice. Nice. Ruby's been pretty much all over this match, but it's 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 kinda it's kind of back what well that's not that's not bad at all. That's not good at all. I don't know what Ruby was trying to do there. Hangs Mickey James up on the ropes. Stomp to the gut. Nice forearm to Mickey James. Mickey James grabs a hold of her, but she was able to turn it around. Oh, 
Mickey James loses this match. It's all over for Mickey James. Mickey James hung up on the ropes, brought up. Lands on her back, get a nice kick to the chest. Forearm, another forearm, another forearm. Just laying in those forearms, Mickey stumbling. But Ruby could be looking to end things here. The DDT has won so many matches into the cover. And Ruby Roundhouse wins, ending the career of Mickey James. You should have taken a different path to get here, but you still deserve this. Just remember, some things in life are a lot more important than crossing things off a list. I'm sorry. Maybe I deserve this title, but you deserve this moment. Yeah, Mickey James is one of those people. Is she even is she like still on the roster? She's not. I feel like she's one of those people that she really should have like had like one of those speeches that like Edge Edge and Daniel Bryan had. Shawn Michaels. I mean, granted, Edge and Daniel Bryan came back, but I mean, Shawn Michaels didn't. And Edge is hurt again. That's what's that's, that's wonderful. All right, now we're entering a new, a new chapter. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the video on uh, Twitch right now because it's it's like frozen, and I really hope that's not messing up the video currently. So I'm not going to be recording another video on this today. I was kind of hoping to fin. I was going to try to finish the storyline today, but. And that's how I won my first SmackDown Live Women's Championship. That totally sucked the air out of the room. That's why I wanted to skip over that part of the story. I I'll distract him with the visual aid. With everything we'd accomplished, we were really starting to cement our legacies, especially in our hometown where we'd always been overshadowed by a certain individual until this happened. That is a beautiful sign, don't you think? I agree. I would never throw rocks at a sign like that. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we were gaining respect and recognition, I still felt like I had a lot more to prove than Red. She had won championships everywhere we went, and I only had my universal title win over Samoa Joe that was mostly considered a fluke. Sure, I started a movie, but that sort of thing didn't hold the same weight. So I sought out the advice from someone who was a visionary in this business. A man who had been the guiding force behind the careers of countless legendary superstars. <laughs> who? Paul Heyman? <laughs> Bobby Heenan? I don't know. I really don't know. Like I, you guys know that I've played the uh, played the story before, but I can't remember. Can't remember who it was. By the way, Paul Heyman, I was right. I saw your movie, and some of the choices you've made were um, uh, intriguing. That really means a lot coming from you, Mr. Heyman. Just call me Paul, thank you. So, other than this fantastic, I have no choice but to eat at lunch why am i here i asked you to meet with me because i need help from the guy who managed some of the biggest names in sports entertainment history kurt angle the big show steve austin don't forget brock lesnar 
b b before you go any further, uh, uh, let's just get one thing straight. I'm not going to advocate for you. I'm enjoying my retirement way too much. I don't want an advocate. I just want your advice. I've made progress with how people perceive me, but there's still some holdouts. So how do I earn the respect of everyone in the locker room? How do I reach the heights the legends you guided reached and build a career that's Hall of Fame worthy? I really hate suggesting this, but in this business, there's only one surefire way to cement your legacy and become immortal. And that's by defeating the greatest force this universe has ever known. And yes, I'm talking about The Undertaker. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> yeah, come on, Paul. I'm, I'm serious. And so am I. Dead serious. Just look at what a victory over The Undertaker did for my client, Barack Lesnar. If you want that type of prestige, there is only one way to get it. But no one's seen The Undertaker in years. Oh, I'm sure The Undertaker is still out there somewhere. And if you want to, you can still find him. But I personally don't recommend it. Come on, you've had your success. The WWE Universe admires you, although there's no accounting for taste. Is the respect of the men and the women in that locker room really worth risking everything you have? Your well-being? Your soul? Just think about it carefully, because if I were you, and thank God I'm not, I'd forget the whole thing and just walk away before it's too late. I want to do it. I want to cement my legacy by defeating The Undertaker. Hey, it's your funeral, and if that's what you really want, I'll arrange a meeting with someone who might be able to help you find The Undertaker. Red, it's been a pleasure, and Trey, well, despite my better judgment, I wish you luck. The Undertaker. I mean, I'm sure there's more ways to cement your legacy. I sure hope so, because wrestlers now, <laughs> they can't defeat The Undertaker. Undertaker is retired. He is officially done. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but Undertaker is officially done. <laughs> kind of creepy here late at night. Did you know some arenas are supposedly haunted? Really? Yeah. This one time after your match, all I'm I heard was BOO! Thing. Assuming you didn't get that from a popsicle stick, I'm mildly impressed. Thanks. So where's Heyman's friend who's going to help you find the Undertaker? He's supposed to meet us here, right? Paul didn't give me any info other than a time and a place, so maybe his guy's running late. Did you hear that? It's kind of hard not to. No one else is in the building right now, so maybe it's Heyman's guy. We should go check it out. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Seriously? You want to take on The Undertaker, but you're afraid of an arena boiler room? Let's go. I can't really see much, can you? No, so we should probably try again some other time. I mean, technically the Undertaker's dead, so it's not like he's going anywhere. Wait, I think I just saw something move. Hello? You sure about this? Nope. Come on, it'll be fine. It's, it's not too late to turn back. Are you here to meet with us about finding the Undertaker? 
I swear, I saw someone down there. Did you see a light switch anywhere? No. I should have never gotten myself into this. Yeah, it was your idea. I can't believe mankind used to hang out down here. I'm gonna head back up and try to call Heyman. <gasps> Papa Shango? Well, this is unexpected, but I guess you'd need someone with supernatural powers to track down the dead man. Ask him to help. Um... Mr. Shango, apparently we have a mutual friend in Paul Heyman who said you could help me find the Undertaker? I don't think he's going to talk. Clearly. So, uh, okay. how Bye. do we go about finding Taker? You want us to get inside the furnace? No, furnaces are hot. So maybe he's saying we're warm. Like we're close to finding the Undertaker. This is exciting! <laughs> yeah, I'm out of here. Uh, wait! I think he's trying to tell us something. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh. <coughs> what was that? It's in my eyes. I don't know, but it kind of has a lemony flavor. Not bad. You're eating it? Cool. Um, what the hell is that? I think it's some kind of portal. There's no way I'm going in a portal. If you want to become immortal, you have to go through the portal. See? <laughs> it even rhymes. And besides, you're always telling me I need to loosen up and be more open-minded. So maybe you need to take your own advice for once. The last time I said that I was trying to get you to try pineapple on your pizza and not cross over into Ew. the netherworld. No. It looks like it's starting to close. I just, I just lost some subscribers. <laughs> Fine. There's a bunch of good things happening right now. Shango, no! Well, that's just great. Now we don't even have our voodoo mime guide. Are you smiling? I told you not to eat that dust. Hey, snap out of it. What was that for? Ow, that was way harder than my slap. I was just trying to wake you up. I don't think we're asleep. Then what is this place? Did you hear that? From now on, let's just assume I hear everything you hear. Okay? Look. It's Kane! This is awesome! Maybe you can help my friend. He's trying to find your brother, and we lost our guide. Not cool! Look out! Okay. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys ever miss anything and you guys want to catch up on everything, you can head over to my YouTube channel at Prince, at Prince Truth if you're not there already. And if you haven't done already, hit that subscribe button, turn on those push notifications so you never miss an episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, guys, I am out.